Hey there, Brooks here from documentsnap.com. Today we're going to be talking about naming rules in File Center, a document management program for Windows. Okay, so I'm here in File Center and right now I'm in the split view. So up here at the top, I have the inbox and then down here at the bottom, I have uh, a folder called uh, bills in my home cabinet. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be processing the inbox and moving files from the inbox to my bills folder. And we're going to be setting up something called naming rules, which is a pretty handy feature of File Center. Now, why would you want to, why would you want to set up naming rules? Well, the first reason is that it can save you a bit of typing. If you can drag the file and have it automatically name your file, then that saves you some keystrokes and makes it a bit faster and easier. But the other reason, and for me a bigger reason, is that it helps enforce your naming conventions. So if you're giving things a standard name every time you name them, that makes it a lot easier for finding later. So that's for me the big, the big feature. So now let's go through setting up naming rules in File Center. So we're going to go up here to this option for naming and click there. And it's going to bring up some predefined naming options that we already have set up, but we're going to create a new one. So I'm going to hit the add button. And what I want to do is create a naming convention that puts today's date and then the name of the folder that it's in and then the name of, in our case, I'm going to be naming my gas bill. So I'm going to put the name of my gas company. So the first thing we want to do is put a date. And you can see here you've got a whole bunch of different uh, date options for uh, a date convention. So I want this one, year-month-day. And I'm going to hit insert field into expression. And you can see down here you've got two things. It, it, it's the code that tells File Center how you want to name it. And then it shows an example down here below. Now you can see here in this tips folder, or this tips window, it tells you some different ways that you can do it. Now unfortunately, I don't believe File Center has what's called date math, the way that, for example, Text Expander on the Mac has. So you can't tell it to subtract a month. So I'm okay with using today's date, but uh, it is something to be aware of. But one thing for my personal naming convention, I like to use underscores instead of dashes. That's, I don't know why, that's just what I do. So I'm going to click here and do backspace and replace these dashes with underscores. And you can see in my example below, it's automatically substituting those, those dashes with underscores. So that's great. And then I like to put a dash afterwards. And the next thing, as I mentioned, is I like to, or I, I want to have the name of the folder that the file is in, in the file name. Now, I have to be honest, for my personal naming convention, I don't tend to do this. I'm mostly doing this just to show you that it can be done. But it can be handy, especially if you're working with, for example, client files, to have the client name in the file name. So it, makes it easier for searching later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on folder name and you've got a whole bunch of options. You can have the name of the folder that the file is going into. If we had a folder tree, you could have the name of the parent and you've got a whole bunch of different levels that you can do. But we're just going to keep it simple and choose the level one folder name here. And I'm going to insert field into expression again. And for some reason, it puts a space there. So I'm going to get rid of that space. And now you've got, you can see we've got uh, the, the date and the name of the folder. And because I'm creating a naming convention for my gas bills, I'm going to put a dash and then put Fortis Gas, which is the name of the gas company here in Vancouver. So by setting this up, every time I get a gas bill in the future, I can have this naming convention automatically name my gas my gas bills for me. So I'm going to hit OK and that's going to create the naming convention for us. And then I'm going to hit OK. So now that we have the the naming rule set up, let's see how we can use it. 
So let's just pretend that this is my gas bill and I want to move that into my bills folder and I want to use the naming rule for that we just set up. So what we want to do is in this drop name drop down box I'm going to click there and you can see this is the one we just created and it's going to name it today's date which at the date of this recording is November 30th. It's going to use the bills which is the name of the folder and then if you remember I typed in Fortis gas so it's going to use that. So we're going to choose that. Now if you set up a rule and you find that it doesn't show up in that drop down box all you need to do it's, it's a little bug in File Center. All you need to do is click on another cabinet and then click back, and then you'll be able to see it. I don't know why it does that. But now we're ready to take this file, and because we've got our naming rule set up, all we need to do is drag it down to the Bills folder, let go, and you can see here that that, that file has automatically been named with the naming rule that we chose. And that is a quick and easy way how to set up naming rules in File Center. There's a lot more you can do with it, so I recommend that you take a look. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.